Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing another great eShop deals video. And let me tell you, this is gonna be a big one because there's the return of a lot of great games on this list. Now also, since this is a weekly video series, just to let you know that I won't go in depth into the deals that were included on last week's list, and a lot of them are actually still going on. So if you really want to get a full list of a lot of great indie games, I really recommend you watching last week's video. Almost all the deals are still there, I'll put a link up top in the video. And you guys can check it out after this one because really if you want to look at some great indie games last week's list was packed but this week it's really the return of all the big headlining triple a games now as we're going through the video don't forget that if you like what you're seeing hit the like button it really does help out a lot and at the same time why not subscribe to the channel now we're going to go through these games i know a lot of these probably need no introduction from my part but we're still going to do it as usual, just in case anyone out there doesn't actually know about these games yet. But uh, basically, we're going to start with Zelda Breath of the Wild. Right now, it's actually on sale for $39.99, meaning it's 33% off. If you're not aware, it's very rare that first-party Nintendo titles go on sale. And this one was actually not included in last Black Friday's deals. So it's really a great time to pick it up if you've never played Breath of the Wild yet. Uh, if you have a Switch and you don't haven't played Breath of the Wild, I don't really know what you're doing because it's pretty much the game that put it on the map. But really, it's a great Zelda adventure, and for the first time, it's an open world, meaning that you can start where you want. There's no order in the dungeons. It's really a, a great experience, and it's one of the best overall 3D Zelda games that have ever come out. Next, if you pick up on this video quickly, we have pretty much all the LEGO series games that are back at 75% off. And we're not going to go through each of the series, but pretty much... If you've never played a Lego game, it's that basically they retell either the classic stories like Harry Potter, uh, Marvel superheroes, they, they retell the stories but with Lego humor and controlling Lego characters. Now basically what I recommend if you've never played one of these games and you want to start, number one, it's great, great for young players, okay, because the puzzles are pretty much easy to solve, the controls don't require too much precision. And at the same time, what is really great about these games is that you should really buy the ones for the series that you're most interested in. So if you've never really cared about Harry Potter, skip the Harry Potter one. If you love Lego Marvel's superheroes, grab the superhero version. So next, we have another great first party title that was actually not included in last Black Friday's deals, Super Mario Odyssey. Basically, it's the classic Mario game that comes out with every new console, and really this time we got a great one. It is, in my opinion, one of the best overall 3D Mario games that have ever come out, right up there with the uh, Mario Galaxy series. Uh, and there's a great blend of some 2D levels in there. Basically, if you haven't played Super Mario Odyssey yet, it's a great experience for everyone who loves platformers in any way. So once again, as I said, we won't go in depth, but we have the Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 for $7.49, 75% off, as the Harry Potter series was 75% off. Great pickup if you're a fan of Marvel and you want just a laid back uh, platformer to have some fun with. Next on the list, we have probably one of the biggest unexpected hits of the year, which is Untitled Goose Game. Basically, you play a goose whose sole job is annoying people. And basically, to get through the stages, you have to accomplish certain tasks, which basically, you just have to act like an ass, basically. And that is the whole point of the game. You're playing a goose, and you're trying to annoy people as much as possible. It's an awesome experience. The game's graphics are simple, but they really get the point across. If you haven't played this yet, at 30% off, it is a pretty good deal. And since it was such a smash hit, it's probably going to take quite a while before this game hits like a 75% off or whatnot. So right now, I'm feeling like it's still a decent time to pick it up. And just before we move on, as I said, you can look at last week's list, but we have the Guilty Gear series that is heavily on sale, which is a great 2D fighter. But if you want more information, check out last week's video. Uh, quick stop as well, Lego DC Super Villains, another great Lego game, so if you want, if you're more a fan of the DC series than the Marvel series, the DC Super Villains one is an awesome one, it's probably the most advanced of the Lego games so far, it was actually my favorite so far that I've played, so if you want to pick one up at 80% off for $11.99, it's a great deal. Now, next we hit Ori and the Blind Forest. 
Basically, both Ori's are on sale. If you haven't played Ori, it's a Metroidvania-style uh, game where you play a little sprite throughout a forest that basically has to save the forest from a, a destruction. And basically, it's a great Metroidvania. It was very, it's very, very highly rated. And if you want a great experience, and the polish on this game is amazing. I'm even surprised the second one made it to the Switch in the form it has. Now, 30% off for $13.99. This week's list, the percentages aren't high, but the deals are great because these are like triple A indie games, if you will. These games have hit such success that technically they're selling without any sales normally. So right now, just to be getting a 30% off is still a pretty good deal. Now, the next game on the list is another awesome first party title from Nintendo, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, the one warning I want to give about this is last Black Friday, the deals did get better than $41.99. You could pick this game up at some retailers for as low as $30. There could be a repeat at Boxing Day. However, if you don't want to take the chance to miss out, and at the same time, if you missed the Black Friday deals that just went, you know, just left, well, it still is a really great price at $41.99 because overall, this is a game that can easily give you over 100 hours of play with a lot of replayability. It's a strategy RPG if you're not aware. And it's probably one of the best strategy RPGs you can play overall on the Switch, if not the best. So next on our list, we have Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Right now, the game is only 15% off. The percentage doesn't seem huge. But the game just came out this year on the Switch, and at the same time, it's one of those other AAA indie titles, meaning that they don't even have to discount it and the game's gonna sell anyway. So right now, any sort of deal you can get on it is pretty much a great deal, and Ori and the Will of the Wisps is just as good, if not better, than the first one. Once again, it's a Metroidvania style. The bosses are bigger this time. The stages are even more vibrant than the first one. Like I said earlier, I was even surprised that the Switch version came out as beautiful as it did. And just before we move on, another shout out to another great LEGO game, the LEGO Jurassic Park series for only $9.99 at 75% off. Still a great pickup. So next on the list, we have Carry On, which is probably one of the best twists on the horror genre I've ever seen. Instead of playing humans trying to stop the monster, you're playing the monster trying to kill all the humans and escape from the underground lab you've been locked into. How do you do this? You eat all the humans to get bigger, gain more abilities, basically in once again a Metroidvania style. But it is really an awesome game. If you think that it's an easy game, it is not. At the beginning, yes, it sort of gets you into the sense that, okay, I'm just gonna be eating all the humans and it's gonna be easy. But trust me, as the game goes on, the humans get better equipped with better weapons and more intelligent. And at one point, you really have to put in some tactics to be able to kill them and continue on with the game. So I hope you're all still with me. I know this week's list is getting long, but there's so many great AAA games. I really don't want to miss any of them. So we're going to go a little bit longer than usual. But trust me, it's worth it. Stay here till the end. And the next game on our list is another great one, Astral Chain. If you haven't played this yet, it is basically a platinum game, but it was a release solely for the Nintendo Switch. It's a, an exclusive, which is why it hardly ever goes on sale, because it's treated like a almost a Nintendo first party title. Right now it's 30% off for $41.99, and this is a great game to pick up. Like I said, it plays sort of like an action RPG where you control your character and also what's called a legion, which is sort of a totem character that links to yours and gives you special abilities, combo abilities and whatnot. And honestly, if you want a great, great game and, on, and the storyline is pretty good as well, pick this up, you won't be disappointed. It's one of the best hits of last year from the Nintendo Switch, basically. Now, the next game on this list is actually a guilty pleasure of my own. It is Streets of Rage 4. Look, I love, I loved Streets of Rage growing up on the Sega Genesis, and basically Streets of Rage 4 brings the spirit of the Sega Genesis back and into a new generation with great cel-shaded graphics, and the action is so much fun. I basically play through the game on average once a week because the game, you can play through it pretty quick, However, to unlock everything, you have to do multiple playthroughs. I would say easily five playthroughs and above, and you have to keep switching characters. And really, each time you play through with a different character, it's a total different strategy and a total different approach depending on the stages. So this is a great old-school beat-em-up. 
If you want to try it, it's probably one of the best available on the Switch right now. Now the next game on the list is Monster Boy. It is, in my opinion, one of the best 2D platformers on the Switch. And you know I'm a huge fan of 2D platformers for anyone who follows the channel. So when I say it's one of the best, that's because I've played a lot and it really is. You basically have the ability to swap between different forms, which is basically represented by different animal forms, to get through the different stages. One form can fly, one form has better attacks, different types of use utilities like that. But overall, What's great about this game is just the consistency, the great graphics. It feels like a PS1 type 2D platformer, like really high grade 2D graphics. And overall, what really brings it together is one of the best gameplays I've had in the last years in a 2D platformer. So really, if there's one that you want to treat yourself for this year, this would be the time to do it because at 63% off at only $14.79, uh, I've actually, I can't remember seeing Monster Boy getting as cheap as this. So as usual, I couldn't do this whole list without at least finding one more out there indie title. And we have it here with Xenoraptor. At 75% off for only $3.74, this is probably one of the best pickups this week. It is a twin stick shooter, okay? However, it blends 2D and 3D depending on the stages. So if you want a twin stick shooter with a slight twist, this is a great one to try out, and for 374, it is definitely worth it. Now, the next game on our list is Grip. It is a really out there racing game, and at 80% off for only 859, now would be the perfect time to pick it up. And on top of it, you're getting the bundle with all the DLC included. Now, this is basically a really out there racing game where your car basically sticks to any surface. So you can drive vertically up the walls, you can even drive on the ceiling of some stages, it's not a super deep and I would say top notch racer, but for 859, it's a great experience to have some fun with. And especially if you want to play in multiplayer, I love this game for that. And it really gives a special twist on the ra the normal racing games which we that we get on the Switch, which are always either Need for Speed old ports or, you know, kart games like, you know, Mario Kart. I love those games to death, but it's fun just to have a different racing game with a different overall experience. One last thing before we finish up the list, I do want to point out that if you wanted to pick up the bundle for Breath of the Wild and the downloadable content, that is also on sale. However, it's at $59.98, meaning they're not really taking much off of the DLC. Right now, if I was picking up this game for the first time, I would just buy the base game because honestly, you get all the storyline, you get everything you can do in the base game. And later on, if you really fall in love with it and you want to do extra shrines and extra, you know, challenges, then you can pick up the DLC. Uh, but because they're not really giving anything extra off, that's why I, f I would focus more on the main game rather than the bundle. But for anyone interested, it's on sale as well, but it's 25% off uh, rather than above 30. So that's pretty much it for this week's list. Look, I know I probably said best available on the Switch or one of the best available on the Switch on a regular basis, but that's because this week's list really was packed with AAA great games. Now, I know this week's list, there were a lot of games that were more expensive than usual, but like I said, we're looking at AAA games that are almost never on sale. If you want some cheaper, really great pickups, as I said earlier, check out last week's list. It is packed with those. Most of the games are under $5. And don't worry, as soon as we get some new indie, great indie deals, I'll be focusing on those just as much as the AAA games. So... As I said at the beginning of the video, if you liked what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to hit the like button, it really helps out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you know when all my videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.